The Hytale team had an important meeting with Riot Games last week, but why? What does this mean for the future of the project? Let's break it down and stick around for a new in-game image too. This week, Hytale developers and team members have been tweeting about a trip to LA, hinting several times that it was with Riot Games and posting images of the Riot headquarters, which is also coincidentally located in LA. Through further social media posts and images, however, it became apparent that this was more than just a happy coincidence, with the mention of hashtag HiCon from multiple team members, a few hints disguised as puns, and even an image from games designer Small Game Dev on Twitter revealing a special lanyard covered ever so slightly. That logo look familiar? From what we can tell, it most likely says HiCon 2023 as in Hytale Convention 2023. Important to note down the gradient we see here from Hytale Blue into Riot Red. This was clearly a planned event, not just for fun, but for bringing the Hypixel and Riot team members closer together and talking about the game as well. To understand why this is significant, we need to ask how we got here. Riot Games is a major publisher and development studio who acquired Hypixel Studios in 2020. They've been supporting the game for several years now. However, on May 11th, 2023, Riot announced that their CEO for the last six years, Niccolo Laurent, would be stepping down to act more as an advisor in future, and that a new boss was being brought in over the coming months. Now, as you might realize, this means Niccolo is the one who's been overseeing the company both before and after they acquired Hypixel Studios. Niccolo was actually a very strong advocate for Hytale within Riot and likely ensured a very smooth acquisition process back in 2020 whilst overseeing and providing mentorship where needed. But will the new CEO be as favorable to the project? It had more than a few in the community a little concerned. Well, after being with the company for 12 years, Dylan Hadeja is taking over from Niccolo and after three years of planning that succession with lots of candidate interviews, everyone agreed. They had Dylan at the top of their lists. Over the next few months, his intention is to take the opportunity to listen and learn, engaging with parts of Riot and other studios. He will be reviewing all current projects and meeting with their teams, likely trying to keep energy and momentum going, but also to evaluate current progress and ensure relationships stay strong. That's where Hytale comes in. As mentioned, the team have recently hinted at HiCon, as well as meeting with Riot Games. So naturally, people were wondering if this was for Riot to evaluate Hytale. Could Dylan be trying to decide whether it's worth continuing? He might even rush for a release. That's the question. Will Dylan's support match that of his predecessor? Niccolo Laurent supported Hytale heavily from the start, and the relationship between both teams has been strong for many years now. Noxie, the current CEO of Hypixel, actually worked at Riot for a while. The publisher initially invested in Hytale even before the acquisition, they clearly value the project, even featuring a Hytale Quebec on their launcher. Noxie replied to Niccolo's announcement of stepping down as CEO, stating, Thank you for all the support and belief you've shown to Hytale and Hypixel over the years, and for me on a personal level. I appreciate you. This connection was actually explained further by the ex-CEO himself in the Hytale promo clip streamed in 2021. Riders come up with amazing ideas, sometimes crazy ideas. I wish we can do them all. You know, we can't focus on everything. And then sometimes we realize we're not necessarily the best studio to make these games. And that's kind of how I felt when I met Noxie and the team at Hypixel. They came up with the demo of Hytale, and I right away saw that we had something special. It was both familiar, but also different. Different because it's a different game. It's a different genre than what we're used to, but familiar in the way they talk about the community, the way they're willing to challenge conventions, their dedication to one game and their commitment to make it better and better for years to come. That sounded very familiar to us, very Riot. And that's why we decided to partner with them and eventually have them join our family. They invested in the game because the demo was great, but moreover because Hypixel's outlook on game development was something that aligned with Riot. Now, almost two years on from that moment, however, a new CEO is in control. Will he give the team the same amount of patience? Could he review the project and decide it needs to be sped up or even cancelled? Well, you'd be surprised. Dylan is actually one of the rioters that originally championed Hytale all the way back in the day when the studio first showcased it. He's actually very interested. The team were invited to the Global Riot Conference last year and potentially even showcased the game to many rioters like Dylan. 
and let's be honest, they'll probably be doing so again this year. The fact that the team is at Riot HQ at all is likely a positive thing. It's all sorts of team members and they're there for a full week, but it is important to note that nothing has officially been announced. The team have made no comment. This could very well just be a chance for the departments to work in close proximity, enjoy a sweet trip to LA, or do some training together. One thing is for sure though, it is still a sign that things are moving forward at a healthy rate. Some more relevant news recently, there's actually been a lot of talk about AI in the last few months, specifically neural networks and LLMs, or logic learning machines. You have ChatGPT writing people's essays, Midjourney creating art with just a sentence, auto-generated YouTube videos, movie trailers, and even gaming is seeing some great new possibilities. Like with this Skyrim mod, for example, that allows you to use your microphone to have natural conversations with NPCs. Like, the NPCs can hear you and react in real time. They actually have personalities and backstories that can be referenced and reflected on using ChatGPT as a foundation. It all honestly made me really curious as to whether the Hytale team are looking to implement neural network style AI themselves. Things like ChatGPT for NPC quests, or maybe we'll be able to integrate it into our own multiplayer servers. Of course, AI has been used for decades in game development. Hypixel Studios themselves have already hired roles to work on AI-related systems. It could be used for search algorithms in the server browser, probabilities of drops and loot tables, various logic and mob behavior, including things such as pathfinding. But will they look to this new wave of open AI to enhance the game a bit more before launch? or perhaps as an update after launch. Think about it, they could potentially work to enable infinite randomized quests for adventure mode, generative dialogue between NPCs, you could even attach unique day and night cycles, activities to different mobs based on their personality, mood, or even job roles. It's all really exciting to think about, but Hytale may even find something in between. Something like the Nemesis system that was used in Shadow of Mordor. Although that system in particular was patented, and while I'm not sure whether they used a neural network or procedural generation, it is clear that innovations are being made on the AI front. Developers are taking advantage of AI in a big way to generate new gameplay options. And I guess the thing is, we know Hytale is deep in development at this point. If they did add anything like this now, it would be very late into the game, no time to really refine it. And that poses the question. Once Hytale does release, will it even be able to compete with games that are currently starting development with all these new AI tools at their disposal? It's certainly a lot to consider. You know, what the implications may be of all this on Hytale's future position in the gaming industry, on the creator economy surrounding the game. As mentioned, there's been a huge rise in the use of AI here on YouTube. Content creation is certainly evolving, and so I do sit here and wonder just how vastly different the Hytale ecosystem will be from the one we were all initially envisioning back in 2018. In other news, Cube World creator Wally has announced a new game. Um... <laughs> and as mentioned earlier, we also got a new in-game Hytale image from team member Small Game Dev, who changed her profile picture to her avatar next to an updated version of the Crawler mob that we've seen in previous screenshots. If you want to know exactly what's happening with Hytale, check out my interview with their CEO Noxie here, where we delve into the future of the game. And thanks as always for watching Quebec Corner, stay safe and keep free.